Hello and welcome. Just a quick one today while I work on the next video in the background, but I got this hair simulation working and I think it's pretty cool. Here's what we've got. We've got some sort of ponytail or some collection of hairs or something in an environment and we can add some velocity and they do their thing. And they sort of stabilize eventually. So this is a case where we're, you know, we've got wind or some sort of constant velocity and we can remove the velocity. They sort of hang down like that. So a lot of this came down to tweaking various parameters, but I'm pretty happy with this as an approximation. So let's investigate the math behind it. It's pretty much a linked system of particles. And I'm not doing anything too fancy. I'm not doing like inverse kinematics. I tried that. It didn't work in this case. It was a bit of a nightmare. But basically, we have a collection of strands where every strand itself is a whole, whoops, is a whole list of particles. And I'm storing some other state here. I think I'm storing the velocity, angular velocity, angular force, and the angle. And we can see down here that we are applying some various forces. So each of these forces, we're just looking at their angular contribution which is the cross product between the incoming force, the incident force, and the axis of rotation. The axis of rotation being the separation from one point to its predecessor. And so there we have it. Code is attached as always, but yeah, pretty happy with this one. So that'll be it. All right, see you next time. Bye.